Okay, before I get going, I'm a little thirsty, so I'm gonna have a Diet Coke, um, which is in a can. So I'm sure you're wondering how I can do this. So if you find something um, that you can actually push up against, which I'm, I'm just gonna use this, um, and I get something sharp, put it underneath this, lift it open as far as I can, and then you've got it popped up for you and you can just crack it like that. And get me started, you'll need some caffeine. So that's that for my drink. So okay. now I'm going to be making banana espresso chocolate chip muffins. So um, I'm basically just gonna show you, you don't need to see everything, but I'm gonna show you how I, I guess, get the flour and the sugar and how I do the basics and how I crack an egg and those kinds of things. Um, so you can watch that. Okay, so first I'm gonna do the sugar. And I, um, a thing that's been really useful for me is I bought a lot of containers that have flip up tops or um, usually when I go to the store and I buy stuff, I have to, I have to take it from its container or the bag or something and then I pour it in to this so it's much um, simpler for me. So I've done this and I'm just gonna, has a handle on it so I can pour it into, without making a mess hopefully, which I'm doing, uh, so there we go. And then um, I bought um, measuring cups and measuring spoons also that um, detach from, you know, from like, um, uh, the ring that they usually come on so that I can do it easily because I can get it you know from the edge of the table pick it up and pour it in and that's how I do it for all of my stuff as far as that goes. Um, I can obviously use a tub of butter but it, it's kind of the same thing as with the coke. I would then have to scoot the tub of butter up to something that's sturdy, get the spoon in, scoop it out and then put it in. So. Um, sometimes the sticks are easier, but then of course I got to get them out of the box. So um, you just dig at it until it comes out. Um, you do that. Then how do you get it out? I just push it out like this. Um, then I got to... Now the trick is getting this unwrapped. So again, I go back to a knife usually or something that's not gonna hurt you. Um, but I can strategically get this open usually and just get it started for myself. And then I have to unpeel it. Um, and then It needs to be melted, so I'm going to unwrap it and get it in the microwave for just a quick second. My lovely microwave. Okay, so now I have to reach in, grab this, and shut the microwave. <laughs> then you pour this in. Okay, um, now I need to do an egg. This is my favorite part of playing around with stuff. Um, and by the way, uh, the eggs come from our backyard. I have three chickens that has been so much fun. Um, so I just go in the backyard, grab an egg, and I can make, make my stuff. So let me grab my egg. All right, so we have three different kinds of chickens. <laughs> You're learning more about my chicken world than you need to know. But So they come in all different colors because we have uh, different breeds. So. So just so you know, so I'm, I'm gonna use a brown egg and these taste so good, but so, okay, you grab normal. Then here's where it gets challenging. I use this part of my hand and you can't press very hard because you're gonna get a lot of shell in the egg. Um, so you just, and I use this part to separate it. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. No shell, woohoo! <laughs> That was a really good one. And there you go. You got the egg and a little bit of butter. <laughs> okay, now I need some milk. Um, this is another thing that has I've had to learn. Um, so milk obviously e usually has, so I, I can turn this and open this up. This one is already opened, 
but there's usually a little thing there, you know, to protect the milk. And I, it's the same concept as it is with the Diet Coke, um, with that little circle in there. I, I just stick my knife in there, pop it open, and then I can pull it out. So that's how I do the milk. And then to close, after I've gotten what I need, I just, I can put it back on and just turn it just like that. So um, I'm supposed to be sifting this flour and everything together. Um, and sifting would be hard because I've got to hold the container and usually stir it or, you know, it's some kind of contraption. So I um, just grab a spoon and I just hold it tightly like this. Um, and this is easy for me to stir and kind of mix it all up because it's not very thick. Um, anything that, you know, gets pretty hard to, um, to stir because of thickness or you know, for whatever reason is when I go to the mixers. So I can do this. Okay, now I have to add um, chocolate chips or butterscotch chips, whatever kind you want. But, um, so I have to open up a bag. So how do I do that? Scissors. Um, if I lay it down sideways, I, I clip it like this. I can open it back up and continue to do that until I get to the whole way across. And um, there are some medical um, medical scissors that I have actually bought and they're just like this but on the bottom of it there's a flat base that, that they're connected to. Um, they're pretty expensive and I've used them for a while and they don't work as well. I mean they just they go dull and you know then you've got to rebuy them or resharpen them or do whatever so I've just learned how to use these um, and you know if you can you can grip it and you can you can press then um, that's how you can open up your bags. Okay, so now we're to the point where we're going to put it into the oven, cook it, and it smells so good. But obviously your pan needs to be um, sprayed or buttered or something so it won't stick. So this was actually a little challenge. I figured it out and it, so. Okay, so to take the top off, just pop it, pop it off. And so I just have to kind of position it right here. <laughs> it's kind of like a weapon. Um, and then I just spray and then turn my pan. So give it a little spray, turn it like this. Um, it's also pretty messy because it gets everywhere, but hey, it gets the job done. So it doesn't matter. So now that task is done. Okay, now the ingredients gets in here. So just grab it really tight and I hold on and I pour it. Um, when this can get hard for me is when the ingredients, again, it's usually with the thickness or if it's sticking to the pan and things like that or sauces sometimes can stick. Um, so then I need to get help. But this, I think I can get out. And if not, it's getting a little thick. I'm, I um, I use the spoon to scoop it. So I get it, I get, I get it up next to something. Um, anytime I have to stir or have to scoop out or do something, it, you know, this needs to be stable somehow. So I just get it up next to something that'll help me stabilize it, and it turns. So, but I can get a good scoop it in there. Okay, so now we got it in the pan. I'm going to put it into the oven and oh, um, so putting it in isn't the hard part, but pulling it out with um, gloves, since the gloves don't really stay on, is kind of funny, but put it in there and set my timer. Um, this arm, seriously, my right arm is this is like my finger. That's how I can I can type and I can do this and it's like everything. Okay, the buzzer just went off. So to get this out, nothing fits my hands um, to pull it out. So I look really stupid in these things, um, but they still work. I just can't I can't do a whole lot. But open this up. Oh, it smells so good. Set that down and we're done. So we're just gonna wait for this to cool and um, get into this really quick. But um, again, if you guys have any questions um, off today or any new um, 
you know, thoughts or ideas that you would like to see, please send an email to jgriffin at playfoundation.net.